Hi, in this second video in the series on PowerPoint graphic design ideas, you will learn how to create ladder graphic in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that gives creative presentation ideas for trainers. What are some of the concepts that come to your mind when you think about a ladder? First, a ladder is a simple representation to show something that takes you from where you are to where you want to be. You can also think about the various rungs of the ladder to represent something. You can also represent standard marketing concepts like loyalty ladder, which shows how someone progresses from being a suspect all the way till the point of becoming an advocate for your product. So let us learn how to create this useful graphic from scratch. So here I am on a new slide. First, let us create the two poles in the ladder and then let us build out the rungs. Let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, I am going to pick up this tool called a Scan tool and I am going to draw the poles. I have got one of the poles ready. Of course, you can move this yellow handle down or up to show the tilt of the pole. Then I'm going to hold the control button down as I move this to its new location that creates a copy of the pole. And now we have the two poles ready. Now it's time to build the rungs here. So let us go to auto shapes menu under rectangles. You can find this option called as rounded rectangle option. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle. Now I'm going to hold this yellow handle and I'm going to move it to the center and I'm going to make it thinner because this is going to be the rung and I'm going to adjust the size so that it fits in between the two poles. Maybe I can slightly make it smaller, shorter rather, and this is beautiful. Now, once I have this one ready, I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag this to its new location. And I'm going to keep doing this for as many rungs that I want. And as you can imagine, if you want a bigger ladder where you need to have more space in each of these rungs, you can create that as well. The basic idea works just the same. Now we have the various rungs available. But the problem about this is not all the rungs are aligned properly or they are not equally distributed as well. So I'm going to select all these rungs, go to Arrange, Align and say Align Center so that puts everything in alignment. Then let us go to arrange, align and say distribute vertically. So it provides equal space between the various rungs. And now that we have got these things done, you can see how the final ladder looks like. Now I'm going to select everything together and I'm going to press control G. Control G is the shortcut for group and that allows you to add shadow to the ladder so it gives a 3d perspective so i'm going to go to shape effects go to shadow and then choose a perspective shadow called perspective diagonal upper right and now you have a realistic looking 3d ladder created entirely using powerpoint once you learn how to create graphics like this then you can communicate a whole bunch of concepts using ladder let me show you some of the PowerPoint graphic ideas that you can build with the ladder graphic. These are taken from our comprehensive trainers PowerPoint templates bundle, a collection of PowerPoint templates specifically meant for trainers and course creators. The first concept I want to show you is about this concept called path to growth. That is the various points that are involved in reaching the top position. You can also communicate concepts like scaling new heights and HR concepts like path to the talent pool as it is shown here. Or you can talk about the concept like overcoming obstacle to be number one. And here you can see that the ladder graphic is leaning against an obstacle. You can also show concepts like going from current situation to desired situation and what are the various things that you need to do to reach the desired situation. And you can also talk about three phases of growth, like there is an ascent phase, there is a steady state, and there is a descent phase. 
and you can also talk about climbing up multiple levels like level 1 level 2 level 3 etc so as you can see there are so many different interesting concepts you can communicate using ladder graphic if you are a trainer who wants to take your powerpoint presentations to the next level if you want to learn how to create training slides that are interesting and memorable for your audience then i highly recommend you take a look at our ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program it is arguably the most comprehensive powerpoint training online no other course or book teaches you the kind of advanced tips tricks and techniques that i teach you in powerpoint mastery program if you want to learn more about ramgopal's powerpoint mastery program you can click on the no more button i'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video and one more thing before we close this video if you want to learn how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring then please sign up for a fun 7 day email course it's a totally free course and if you are a trainer or a course creator then you must go through this fun 7 day email course i'll see you on the inside